Well, 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 welcome back. Today is the final update. Back in September, I had my first interaction with the Colorado Springs Police Department, and it went something like this. Get inside. Get inside. I'm, I'm good. Get inside. Get inside. Did you hear me? We need you to get inside. For what? guy comes running out here with a gun, what do you think? Then I'll, get, then I'll get inside. Okay, I will be back to arrest you if you don't get inside. You're gonna arrest me on my own property for standing up? Okay. You're gonna get arrested. For standing on my porch? Okay. Thank you, I, I, I give you a lawful order. I'm trying to- For standing on my porch. I'll be back with the summons, you can explain it. You got it, fucking welfare recipient. If you want to see that full video, you can go ahead and check the link right up there. Shortly after, I filed a complaint with the Colorado Springs Police Department Internal Affairs Division, and it went something like this. If I were at somebody's house, and that let's say that cop was there without his badge and gun, and I said, I'm going to put my hands on you, tie you up, put you in the back of my police car and take you to the bottom of my basement and put you in a cage until you post money to me for your release. What would happen to me? If you want to see that full video, you can go ahead and check the link right up there. As you can see, the lady who answered the phone was extremely dismissive at first, and it felt like the case was going to go absolutely nowhere. Then I submitted a request for all of the footage from body-worn cameras from that incident, and we were able to expose something very interesting. Colorado Springs Police Department covers up their body cams when wearing heavy equipment. So here you can see a couple of the officers on scene donning their heavy vests. Now what happens when they put these heavy vests on is it blocks the built-in uniform camera. The heavy vest has no camera of its own. So as these officers are gearing up to go into a potentially hostile situation, it blocks all video evidence of what they're doing. We do have the audio. However, what's the point of a video camera if you can't see the video? Not only that, but their officers try to cheat their way through protective personal equipment tests. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I, I, I'm not doing it. My back. I'm not going to screw it up. If you want to see that full video, you can go ahead and check the link right up there. More than three and a half months later, we finally have received an outcome from that internal affairs case. It reads, Dear Mr. Lackluster, This letter is in response to the complaint you made on September 26, 2019 regarding the actions of Colorado Springs employee, Officer David Nelson, badge number 230. The case was investigated by Commander Mary Rosenhoff of the Stetson Hills Division. At the conclusion of the investigation, the case was reviewed by the employee's chain of command. After reviewing the case, it was determined the employee did violate department policy and procedures regarding discretionary judgment. As a result, the department has taken the appropriate administrative action. It is the policy of the Colorado Springs Police Department not to disclose the specific discipline rendered by the department. However, you can be assured that the department has addressed the violations. If you have any further questions regarding this investigation, you may contact Commander Mary Rosenhoff at 719-444-3152. Sincerely, Lieutenant Rafael Chanza, Colorado Springs Police Department, Internal Affairs Section. So basically, uh, at, at least we have something on record saying that he was reprimanded for violating policy and procedures regarding discretionary judgment. But it is a little irking that they won't disclose to the public what kind of disciplinary action was rendered. As you guys may remember as well, he is the officer involved in the ACLU case, Brown versus Colorado Springs. Why are you pulling me out of my car, sir? Re 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 take your hands off of me. I have not did nothing. I have not did nothing. I have no weapons. I have no weapons. You have no reason to pull me out of the car. This is assault. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. You see this? You see this? Excessive force. And that's when Benjamin Brown is pulled out of the car, tripped, and thrown on his face, 
and his head is aggressively pushed into the snow. You can check out that video here. He's had multiple dealings with the Professional Standards Division and has had disciplinary action on multiple occasions. But the guy's still on the job. Granted, he's been on the job for quite a while and he still is a regular officer and will probably never promote. But this guy makes nearly a quarter million dollars a year, including salary, benefits, pension, deferred compensation. And in just one of the lawsuits against him, he costs the city of Colorado Springs, the people, $232,000 for violating the department policies and procedures regarding discretionary judgment and using excessive force. Why this guy hasn't been demoted down to dispatch, I don't know. But at least we have some finality to this case. Okay, I will be back to arrest you if you don't get inside. You're gonna arrest me on my own property for standing up? Okay. So now it's time to get your phones out. Mary Rosanoff, the commander of the Internal Affairs Section, wants to hear from you. Give her a call, let's see if we can figure out what kind of disciplinary actions were rendered. Now I'm gonna play a little bit more video from that initial case, but first, our new segment, you guessed it, review the PD. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised that 2.5 is, is fairly high for a police department, and it's a big city. We got three quarters of a million people here, and only 138 reviews. Let's start with Brittany Walker. Harassed by police, requested assistance during a car invasion. I'm, I'm assuming either it was a home invasion, maybe she put car, or she was getting carjacked. Was told to report it online while it was happening. I actually had a pretty in-depth conversation with Johnny 5 about this. He's the one who exposed me to it. Town of Castle Rock versus Gonzalez. This was a Supreme Court ruling that ruled that the police have no duty to protect the citizens of the United States of America. And another one that is often referred to in the comment sections is Warren versus District of Columbia, citing that the police do not owe a specific duty to provide police services to citizens based on the public duty doctrine. So what the f are they here for? Traffic tickets generate $7 billion of revenue every year. And the way things are going, it seems like that's their only duty is revenue collection, piracy, road piracy, which as a side note, I am contesting a traffic ticket here in Colorado Springs. I've got plenty of evidence. We just did our discovery, subpoenaed a bunch of stuff, and I will let you know how that goes after trial. Six man jury, April 10th, be there if you want to. I even doctored up this pretty little video for them. If you guys got video evidence you need edited, let me know, I might be able to help. But back to the reviews. Do not take pictures of this police department. You will be arrested. That's from a year ago. I think it probably comes from uh, News Now Colorado. If you guys haven't seen that video, he won 41 or $47,000 because he was detained for taking pictures. I called to report that there may be a home invasion at my friend's house and they told me to investigate myself. Once again, Referred to Warren versus District of Columbia and Gonzalez versus Castle Rock. I just watched two Colorado Springs finest kidnap a citizen on the public sidewalk and immediately afterwards illegally detain people engaged in legal activity in public. Not okay. I'm pr I'm positive those are from News Now Colorado. A lot of these are about getting fingerprints done, probably for the uh, FBI background checks. More from California Guardian tyrants. Photography is not a crime. Oath breaking tyrants. 24 hours to show up for a break-in, more about public photography. Oh yeah, they, they were the ones who slammed that 90 pound teenager on her face and smashed her teeth out. Things about conspiracy, no response for assault calls. And then of course on their Facebook page, they've got pictures of the desecration of the American flag, learning how to be a star witness in a traffic citation, since that's all they're good for. The indoctrination of our children, more indoctrination, more indoctrination, more indoctrination, more indoctrination more indoctrination i guess the idea is teach them young and it won't be until they have their first experience with the police department until they realize that they're a joke and that they're not here for you and here's what i was looking for you beautiful souls out there on their facebook page they're advertising this calendar with all the canines and in the comment section you guys shared me out multiple times i mean i guess at least they're not deleting the posts so if you guys want to be heard, call Mary Rosanoff. Her number will be down below in the description. Write them a review on Google. The link is below in the description. Or leave them a comment on Facebook. 
the link is down below in the description. Also down there are all links to my social media, Patreon, become a member, merch, all of the above. If you're new here, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, turn on the all notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.